Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're gonna talk about reorganization at Warner Brothers. David Zaslav taking the knife to Warner Brothers again, and mostly we're gonna focus on the rumor that the man behind Joker, uh, Todd Phillips, might actually be tapped to be the uh, Kevin Feige of the DCEU going forward. So that's kind of a, a curious choice. I, I love Joker. I did. I, I really did enjoy the movie. That being said, uh, it isn't really a comic book movie per se, is it? It's more of a, a character study, a period piece. But it did make a lot of money. And the word on the street is that he is going to be in charge of the DCEU going forward. He's being asked by David Zaslav. Uh, there's been a major shuffle at the top, of course. Uh, you know, Ann Sarnoff is out the damn door. Pretty much everybody uh, you know, that, that doesn't get along with Zaslav is out the door, um, you know, very, very quickly. You know, David Zaslav has has uh, whittled Warner Brothers down to not nothing, but a leaner, meaner, hopefully money making ma machiner. I don't know that rhymes. Anyway, we're going to talk about this because DC absolutely needs help. I think this is going to affect the comic book side of things, too, because if they bring somebody in to get DC's house in order, right, uh, to unlock the full potential of the DC character roster, which they have not been doing. Uh, Warner Brothers has not been doing that. They've they've had some hits and they've had some, some misses for sure. But if they're going to compete head to head with Marvel, they need somebody that can do that. And that probably will uh, eventually involve the comic books too. DC is a free for all at this point. I don't know what the hell is going on over there. Every other month, uh, you know, they're they're pushing uh, some sort of activist agenda, and uh, it got worse actually after Daniel Cherry the third left. He was the guy I think was responsible for a lot of this. I think uh, Dan DiDio might have set that up, but I think Daniel Cherry the third definitely, uh, as he is an outspoken activist, has has uh, uh, you know set up all these plans. And now that he's out the door, and apparently nobody is running DC Comics. I don't even know who the hell is running DC Comics. Uh, now we've got writers and artists just kind of running with it, right? And uh, I think that part of part of this plan is going to be to rein all of it in uh, under one person. Just is is this the guy? Is this the guy? I don't know. We're going to talk about it before we get into it. Any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred and sixty-eight thousand, almost two hundred sixty-nine thousand subs. Thank you so much for the support. Geeky is sitting this one out. It's comic book news. It kind of bores her. But that's okay. That's okay. You're stuck with me. We're going to talk about it. So anyway, this story broke, what, yesterday that Michael DeLuca and Pam Pam Abdi reach deal to lead Warner Brothers film division exclusive. Uh, they came from MGM. Now, in this, uh, there were several paragraphs talking about what's going on with DC Comics, DC Films. Uh, we'll read those paragraphs and then we'll see what people's reactions are are. To them. So David Zaslav's strategy as he shapes the company is to create three verticals, each with its own leadership Warner Brothers new line under DeLuca and Abdi, DC and animation. Uh, DC Films president Walter Hamada will report to DeLuca and Abdi until new leadership is identified and the head of the animation vertical is yet to be named. So this could also affect Cartoon Network. This could also affect Rooster Teeth. You know, and, and we've heard rumors for a while now that Warner really doesn't want much to do with Rooster Teeth. They were just kind of stuck with them. Uh, Zaslav's intention to model Warner's after the system that former Disney CEO Bob Iger implemented at that studio with the verticals reporting directly to him. Zaslav has talked to former Disney studio chairman Alan Horn about serving as an advisor. Uh, sorting out DC remains a major challenge for Zaslav. Sources say he has asked Todd Phillips the multi-hyphenate who created dark 2019 billion dollar grocer Joker to do more in the DC universe, potentially acting as an advisor, though he will not serve in an executive capacity. A knowledgeable source says Phillips and Zaslav have, have discovered a report, though Phillips is not an expert on the broader DC universe. While at Disney-owned Marvel, Chief Creative Officer Kevin Feige oversees film, television, animation, and publishing, um, and we know that uh, Joe Quesada, who was uh, the chief creative officer at Marvel Comics, got gone. Uh, there is no single voice guiding DC. DC chief Hamada oversees the film universe based on the company's characters, including its HBO Max spinoffs. You would think they would just promote him, 
but who knows? Uh, DC properties are only loosely connected and sometimes take place in entirely separate universes, such as Joker and the Batman released in March. Um, that's one of the big problems I think with DC is that there, there is no set continuity and they were doing the multiverse thing on TV and in the movies before Marvel was, and it's convoluted as hell. I mean, every other year they're rebooting Batman, you know, uh, people are confused as the suicide squad take place in the same universe as the justice league, uh, you know, peacemaker. Yeah. Is it in the same universe Is a flash movie going to be in the same universe, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, yeah, there is no cohesion there. Now, the flip side of that is that we do get some really good movies, standalone movies as a result. And Joker was one of those movies. In my opinion, I think Joker was, uh, a very, very good movie, but it was not a superhero movie uh, at all, which is fine. I mean, for what it was, I thought it was pretty good. So this is coming from We Got This Covered. Uh, DCEU fans have thoughts on Joker director being sought for advisory role. Uh, There's no hard and fast rule that says every would-be shared universe requires a Kevin Feige-like figure at the helm in order to thrive, but the unprecedented success of the MCU shows it certainly helps. Um, the stewardship of the DCEU has changed hands regularly over the last decade, but is Todd Phillips the ideal candidate to step into the leadership breach? I don't know. I don't know if he is. I, I'm being honest. As much as I like Joker, I don't know if he is. Uh, in a development that sums up Warner Brothers' approach to its comic book content, Microcosm, uh, reports emerged yesterday that, that the Joker director was being sought by new CEO David Zaslav for an advisory role. Don't forget, even though his retelling of the clown Prince of Crime's origins earned over a billion dollars at the box office, the studio didn't even want to make it in the first place. You know, we've got people on Twitter saying that, you know, Todd Phillips could advise Warner Brothers on what projects should be standalones um, and not connected to the DCEU. Doing more standalone DC films with high profile creatives is a good idea. Todd Phillips isn't the right person to be an advisor on the wider DCEU. Um, I, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm really torn. I'm really torn about that. Maybe we'll get Matt Reeves. Who knows? Uh, I mean, I don't know how I feel. I'm all for Todd Phillips getting more projects with Warner brothers, but the only reason Joker was made was because it was cheap and it ended up saving their asses after justice league 2017 and other box office disappointments. That's not untrue. More people saying they don't think he's the right person for the job. Um, please restore the Snyder verse. Yeah. Put Zack Snyder in charge. That would. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. If, if Walter Hamada is there, I don't think that's going to happen. Did you see during the, uh, the, the testimony at the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, Walter Hamada, when they asked him if he had spoken to Zack Snyder, he's like, yeah, I don't, I don't talk to Zack Snyder. I haven't talked to Zack Snyder. And he kind of rolled his eyes like, please don't bring Zack into this. I don't want to talk about that. You know? So I, I think there's some stuff going on there for sure. I, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there are people that are like huge Snyder fans and they're like, they know the blow by blow of all the stuff other than the Ray Fisher drama. I don't, I don't know of any, you know, anything in particular that's going on between them. But, um, yeah, Phillips called Zack Snyder's Watchmen, one of the ballsiest studio films made back then. Um, yeah. So, I mean, people are going to want Zack Snyder for sure. Uh, Toby Emmerich leaving his current position at Warner brothers is cool. But David Zaslav wanting Todd Phillips as an advisor at DC just because his DC movie made bank on a small budget is odd. No, it's not. This is this is David Zaslav. This is the guy from Discovery. He's used to making big returns on a, a small budget. He's used to a lot of uh, real life drama, a lot of like freak show type content voyeuristic content and uh you know he doesn't have to pay a lot to get that stuff made and it makes bank you know uh, a lot of these these shows as memeable as they are become household names you know so he's looking at this too and he's probably like yeah we can't spend maybe we can't spend the amount of money that disney is spending on marvel content because i don't want to spend it but maybe we can do higher quality lower budget stuff you know, we're going to make a super realistic, uh, super realistic DC EU. And it'll be like, it'll be like 1960s Batman practical effects, right? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God. The ads everywhere. Um, yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, giant freaking robot has a story said DC wants to recruit a director who hates comic book movies. Again, that's not 
entirely untrue. Uh, you know, it's not entirely untrue because uh, Joker was not a comic book movie. So, so I don't know, guys. I'm sure you have thoughts on it. I think somebody needs to steer the ship at DC movies, television, animation, and comic books, especially there is no one driving the train right now. I, I don't know what the hell is going on. Obviously, you look at their decisions. They're, they're all over the place. Um, there is no cohesion with their movies or their TV shows. And uh, comics is just an absolute disarray. The sales are abysmal. It's not working. Um, you know, it's, they've got a revolving door of editors and they have, uh, uh their people now are using hot desks because I, I think they think it's all temporary. It's all temporary. So we'll see what happens. Maybe DC will finally get what it effing deserves. going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys. We'll talk later.